Welcome back. We are here looking at the cryptocurrency market, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Wednesday, May 5th, 2021. If you'd like to support the channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos, and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. So I've decided to um, cancel from, and I have included uh, Dogecoin. I think I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Um, as it is basically uh, cryptocurrency that everybody's talking about and has completely exploded in, in recent days. And I have had several comments on the comment center section uh, asking me if I could include it in the video. So I have basically decided to cancel from and to add it to Dogecoin as the last um, cryptocurrency in this video. But we'll start by looking at the Bitcoin. And as you can see, Bitcoin has had a terrible day. So it looked like we were going to uh, see a V-shaped recovery here, but it basically stagnated at the 50 moving average and now is heading back towards these previous lows here at the 52K. If that breaks, then we could head back all the way back towards the bottom here at 47K. So 50K will also uh, be major support or should be major support. If you look at technical indicators, they are all turning around. MACD is still in negative territory, becoming flat, stochastic, crossing the signal line, becoming bearish. So is the CCI and so is the RSI. So if you look at the Fibonacci retracements for this, is probably the reason why we found major resistant here is because we ran into the 61.8 Fibonacci retracement right around this area. And we did not manage to break above that. So at this point, we could drop down to 50 or the very bottom here. And uh, it doesn't look like we are going to back to the very highs. If you look at the weekly chart for, for Bitcoin, you can see that we are still underneath the signal line here in the MACD. And I pointed this out back in 2017, the last we did that, it was far more volatile to the downside. It lost basically half of its value in one week. Uh, but that has been a massive, um, massive uh, warning sign in the past when the uh, crossing here bitcoin tends to fall substantially but still don't uh, underestimate this market there is far more hype in this market now than it was back in 2017 and uh, institutions and uh, are basically using this cryptocurrency and other cryptocurrency now on a daily basis and that was not the case back in 2000 and 17 so it's far more widespread at this point than than back in 2017 however it doesn't look like bitcoin is uh, the it doesn't look like the other cryptocurrencies are following bitcoin because for example ethereum is completely outperforming bitcoin and it doesn't seem there is any relations between how bitcoin is doing and how ethereum is doing so ethereum is just exploding to the upside Trading at 3,353 at this current stage. Technical indicators are very bullish and we are significantly oversold. So we are pulling it back quite a bit, but we are also significantly outside of the bullish band here and we could technically tumble at any point. It has been, it hasn't been this parabolical for a really long time. It was quite parabolical here back in the beginning of 2021 uh, and it fell uh, quite hard. Uh, back then from 1322 all the way down to 902 so at this point it is getting to very risky uh, territory and could basically tumble and we'll mostly find support at 3000 and the middle of the bullish band right here at the 2540 will also be an area where we find major support so let's look at cardano So Cardano um, did rally and then broke down quite heavily towards the 50 moving average and then rallied yet again. We are still down and this is starting to look more like the, the pattern that Bitcoin is, uh, is uh, behaving at this point. So it is uh, very strange if you look at uh, the overall cryptocurrencies, some of them are doing really well and some of them are doing... Uh, horribly for example bitcoin is, has been doing horribly today and other ones are absolutely just exploding to the upside whether or not that is a pump and a dump scheme that people are performing at this current date i do not know but it, it seems strange that bitcoin is uh, um, that usually is the 
leader in this uh, market is uh, falling while other less known cryptocurrencies are absolutely hammering it out. So it can also be that people are seeing more value in the cheaper cryptocurrencies and they want to cash in on those in, instead of Bitcoin. You're not going to see 10, 20, 30 eggs from Bitcoin at this stage. That Those days are probably long gone. It has to lose significant portion of this value before ever doing that again. So if you look at technical indicators for Cardano, we can see that they were all turning around and become bearish. So we could see this drop below the 50, head all the way down to 1.05. Rally from here, most likely find major resistance up here at uh, 1.45. So let's look at Litecoin. So Litecoin, consider for example here, has a V-shaped recovery and it's finding major uh, resistant at the same place where we found resistant in the past. But if we manage to break above this, then we are going significantly higher. Then we're talking about uh, 350 and probably 400 that this will uh, rally to. And um, yes, it does It does just look okay, like it's a matter of time before this basically breaks and then we'll go to the upside. We could break down from here, go back towards the middle and then continue higher. Technical indicators otherwise are very bullish for Litecoin. And um, yes, it had a major recovery after this. I, I thought it was basically going to completely crash but 50 moving average is holding significantly. So it has also hold in the past, you can see here, and also over here, and also over here, the 50 moving average is basically the bottom of this market, or has been having it like the bottom of this market. So let's look at NEO. So NEO is uh, basically creating a shooting star, which is never a really good, um, indication for uh, for a bullish run so it is breaking down found support at the middle of the bullish band at 92 but it's struggling if you look at technical indicators they are all over the place macd is becoming bearish stochastic is bullish and the other indicators are becoming very bearish indeed so if the 20 uh, the middle of the bullish band breaks we could basically tumble all the way down to the very bottom here at the 73 and test the 50 moving average and that is probably as far as this will go as the 50 moving average has been major support basically in the past and so on basically bounced off that moving average so let's look at dash so dash very similar to bitcoin fell significantly towards the 50 moving average and then just absolutely hammered it out towards the upside and is testing these print this previous highs here and it would be very similar to bitcoin if this basically breaks then we'll head to 400 450 500 most likely and uh, we we'll, could see a pullback from here before going back but that pullback will most likely be bought into if we break the 50, 20 exponential we will head back to the 50 and uh, we have broken the 50 in the past for example here but it's continued to rally um, anyway and um, yes an amazing rally for uh, both for, uh, for dash and for a light coin if you look at the uh, at technical indicators for this cryptocurrency they are all pointing to higher levels um, so but we are getting very overstretched here and that's also the reason why we are pulling back we're on the edge of being overbought as well so, so let's look at uh, dogecoin hope i pronounced that right yes so this was the cryptocurrency that was created as a joke and um, there's not a whole lot of data here but uh, you see all the way down here it was valued at 0 0.0123 and now it's trading at uh, well 0 0.555 and, uh, and one and yes people that bought it here they definitely made a good deal but um, yes uh, there are a lot of cryptocurrencies out there if you go on investing.com you can see that there are over 5,000 cryptocurrencies uh, at this point that should basically be a massive warning to everybody that is investing in this because uh, the more cryptos that are out there the less value every single crypto should be um so yes but uh people uh, it's basically hype that is uh, making this rally uh, very famous people are talking about it is in the news all the time and uh, the more uh, positive news um, it gets the higher it will go 
but it, it, it has limitations. You can see it here, it did go parabolical, went straight up to the air, and then basically lost half of its value or more than half of its value. It recovered in the middle of the bullish band, and now we are rallying, broke this uh, previous highs, and we are significantly outside of the bullish band yet again. So we have found areas of support. Basically, the 20 simple moving average in the middle of the bullish band is acting as support. So breakdown from here could find support at 0 0.32. Technically, the they are very bullish indeed. MACD is bullish, Stochastic is bullish, CCI is bullish, and so is the RSI. We are at 80 significantly overbought at this point and significantly overstretched. So buying at this point at, at these levels is very, very, very risky. Um, and pullbacks is basically what has been working as I can see it in this, in this case. So pullbacks towards the 20, um, it is where buyers have come back in and bought into to the upside. If the 20 exponential breaks, then we could drop all the way down to the 50, down here at 0.16. And if that breaks, then we have the 200 moving average down here at 0 0.0560. Uh, so yes, this can fall apart as most cryptocurrency have in history fallen apart. So hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support our channel by subscribing, hit the like button and the bell button to see our new videos, and you're welcome to join us over Patreon. The link is down below. Good luck and thank you very much. Thank you.